OpenStack is a powerful, fast-evolving cloud framework backed by a global community of stakeholders, now being applied in demanding use cases by some of the biggest companies in the world. But OpenStack remains challenging to scale, operate, and lifecycle manage. Major upgrades and scale-outs are complex and time-consuming. Rollbacks during upgrades are not yet supported. Much manual work is still required to keep clouds upgraded, grow them, operate them, and keep them stable at production scales. Containerizing OpenStack components and treating them as microservices atop Kubernetes open source container orchestration enables a powerful multifaceted strategy for solving these and many related challenges. With CCP Containerized Control Plane, we can use container technology to update OpenStack components in isolated runtimes, verify them, and roll them back if needed. CCP uses Kubernetes service placement and replica control to dynamically and rapidly scale out OpenStack control and data planes. The CCP model will permit what we call continuously delivered infrastructure. CD infrastructure enables frequent upgrades, pipeline from authorized repositories to QA test and then production. Bug fixes and improvements arrive more quickly. Clouds are continuously made more stable and robust. The CCP OpenStack Cloud can also grow larger and perform better. Individual control plane and data plane services can be scaled out dynamically, preventing resource starvation and bottlenecks. In this video, we'll demonstrate one way autoscaling can work in an OpenStack on Kubernetes architecture. We begin with a five node Kubernetes cluster. On one node, we're running OpenStack control plane services and on two compute services, along with OVS networking services. The remaining two nodes, node 4 and node 5, have no roles yet. We add the OpenStack compute equals true and open vSwitch equals true label to node 4. The cluster scales in response to these labels, creating a new compute node with network connectivity. Giving node 5 the OpenStack controller equals true and open vSwitch equals true labels, creates a new control node. We'll then remove the labels and show the cluster scaling back, returning node 4 and node 5 to their earlier state, unused by OpenStack. As noted, we have a Kubernetes cluster with five nodes deployed, and three in use, a controller on node 1 and two computes on nodes 2 and 3 with OVS networking running on all three. Nodes 4 and 5 are not yet in use by OpenStack. We can list the containers running on our OpenStack nodes and examine containers by node as well. We can access Horizon normally and see that node 2 and node 3 are recognized as hypervisor hosts. We've also created a network to find flavors and uploaded test images. So our cluster is ready to start running VMs. But before we do, let's create a new compute node on node 4. To do this, we need only add appropriate labels to our target nodes. We'll begin by adding the open vSwitch equals true label to node 4. This causes Kubernetes to deploy network services to the node. We can list them and verify that open vSwitch agent, database, and daemon are running on ports. Now we add the open vSwitch compute equals true label and Kubernetes starts Nova Compute and LiveVirt on the node in containers. In a moment, all containers are running. In Horizon, we can see that node 4 has been recognized as a hypervisor host. Now we can start some VMs on our three computes. Starting six in all, we expect that two each will be scheduled on each host. One of our VMs already has an IP address. The rest quickly follow suit until all six VMs are running. Checking hypervisor status, as expected, two VMs are running on each compute. We can create a new controller on node 5 by adding labels just as easily. First, we add the open vSwitch equals true label for network connectivity. Then the OpenStack controller equals true label. 
For this demo, the only containers we're running on our controllers are Keystone and Horizon. We can see the container is starting. Network service containers are already running. Checking shows we have a Horizon instance on node 5 and node 1. And likewise, we have two Keystone instances. Kubernetes distributes traffic to these instances by default, letting you use this to quickly start and load balance as many instances of a given type as you might need. Now we can scale back node 4 and node 5 by removing their labels. Kubernetes destroys all running containers, and the nodes are no longer in use by OpenStack.